Hi, this is Fernando. I'm back for another video. This time around, it's a very exciting video. I have no plans to, to do uh, another video of, uh, for now, but I received a very special package in the mail, a mystery package, and it was from my good, very good friend, Wayne, and uh, I love him so much. He's so special to me. So uh, this is I already. This is the second time I record this video because I tried to do it like you see me opening the the package and the record but it, it will take too much time it was like three hours long and i don't think you're going to be interested in that so here's the, the package how it looks i already ripped it open um now i understand uh, how tough it is how hard it is for the, the, the spin me around videos of my favorite record store in the entire universe when they do with the unboxing videos it's so hard and this was this was uh, you know uh, an ordeal to open this box because they're very well packaged so here it is the box but what's important is what, what's inside what's inside the, the box what's the important thing and there were two things okay so here it is da -da -da -da. the porcupine trees new album uh, yeah they reunited and uh, it's very exciting to have another record from them uh, this is the vinyl edition with the black vinyl I just can't believe I have this in my hands it's closure continuation is the name of it I'm very excited to listen to it, so uh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen real soon. Okay, I already opened the album as well. It, it is not a gatefold, but it, it has the two inner sleeves. I'm gonna show them to you right now. Here's the, how it looks uh, from the inside, the front of the first inner sleeve, and this is the back of the of it with the lyrics. Too much light in this uh, apartment, uh, but you you know they're there. Okay, so, uh, yeah, you can see some of it. Uh, so, I'm going to open up uh, the first uh, inner sleeve uh, with the fresh new vinyl. I, I am very loving it, the, 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 the smell of the new vinyl. There's nothing better in the world. So, here it is, very carefully. Okay, so here is side one. Uh, look at how shiny and beautiful this vinyl is. Oh, my God, yeah. Mm. Oh, my God, yeah, I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm just by smelling it, it makes making me excited. It making me excited, and uh, as soon as I drop the needle in this record, I'm now I'm gonna be transported to another dimension. So here's the side one and side two. Let me. Um, okay, here it is. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's the first record. Let me put it back in the inner sleeve immediately without touching it. The vinyl can be touched. That's another thing with vinyl that you have to be very careful, and especially with the new vinyl. Here's the second uh, inner sleeve with a big smile, like mine. This is a Kodak moment. So, uh, yeah, this is the back of it with the lyrics as well. You can see some of them right there, I think. I don't know. So, um, yeah, let me take out the vinyl so you can see the side three and four very carefully as well uh, here is side three okay there you go and side four now oh, I did it better perfect yes oh look at myself in the in the la recording the video in the reflection of the black vinyl yeah the double dose of Fernando so yeah there it is I love it I'm very excited for it so let me put it back quickly with uh yeah there it is but that wasn't all of it it also the package contained the cd edition of the porcupine tree album yeah there it is in all its glory yeah i'm gonna open it like that it has a, a booklet with the lyrics also let me show it to you very quick um like this and uh, yeah, here's the back. There's the smile again. Yeah, it has like a different kind of artwork in the CD. That's a good thing about, uh, you know, when you buy a record in different formats, sometimes uh, the cassette has different uh, type of uh, artwork from the, uh, uh, the LP or the, uh, here's the back of the disc. When you take out the, the disc, beautiful, yeah. Great artwork there. Uh, it's uh, different variations. That's the name of it. So, um, yeah, I'm very excited to play this album. Um, 
And uh, I'll give you my reaction, my review, song by song, in a couple of minutes. So give me time. Uh, I have uh, plans to listen to it with uh, uh, all my, um, you know, all my, my complete attention to it. So I can uh, have a good uh, reaction, you know, to it. So I'm very excited. Thank you, Wayne, again for this uh, very special package. I can't wait to play it and to give you my reaction. I know it's going to be great because my friend Wayne, uh, you know, introduced me to his music as a solo artist and also with uh, Blackfield. Uh, also, um, he talked to me about Opeth and, uh, you know, uh, how incredible and talented um, Stephen Wilson is. So I can't wait to, to, to listen to this new Porcupine Tree album which is a very important thing because they just came back together to give us uh, another um, bunch of tracks. This album contains seven tracks, but there is a deluxe edition with three more tracks that I also will be listening to them um, because uh, some people say, uh, as my friend uh, Wayne told me, said that uh, people said that without those three songs, uh, the album uh, felt incomplete. But, um, yeah, I'll be the judge of that because maybe with the seven songs that are officially in the release, uh, uh, you know, I, I don't have that impression. But uh, it might be that when I listen to those other three tracks, uh, I, I can agree with them as well. So let's see. Let's see what happens. So let me cut here and um, I'll give you my reaction really soon. Okay, real soon. Bye. The next day. Oh, wow. It finally happened. I had the chance to lay down very comfortably in my futon and listen to this entire album. And let me tell you, it's excellent. It surpassed my expectations. Uh, this comeback, this reunion, whatever you're gonna call it, it's so it was so worth waiting for. It's an excellent record. Uh, it has all the elements. Whatever you're looking for when you are uh, want to get into an excellent music experience. This one, this album has it. I'm telling you, it was incredible from to back, from to bottom. It was great, incredible, Wayne. Thank you so much for getting me this album. I had the vinyl listening experience, uh, so I let me be honest with you. I had to uh, stand up occasionally and uh, flip the sides around because uh, then I'll continue listening to the rest of the record because that's four sides. But uh, it helped me a lot because uh, to digest uh, everything that I just heard, just listened to, and uh, prepare me to the next phase of the, uh, of the rest of the material, the album itself. So, uh, yeah, I have the, the list of songs right here. I've written some notes, very uh, quick notes to tell you my initial, my initial reaction to the songs. Uh, they're all great in, uh, in individually. But uh, the opening track, it's a, a spectacular song. It's called Harridan. Uh, it's a very great opening track. Um, what a better way to uh, start uh, this um, album with a very strong and solid track with all of the um, elements of their classic sound. Um, They're compressed in that uh, specific opening song. Uh, what can I tell you? Uh, it has... Uh, the 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 essence of the of the the talents of the group of the uh, there's a whole as a band uh represented uh, in that uh oh, you know first song on the album so it was great i loved it you know i felt it uh, felt in place immediately okay so the second one it's called of the new day uh, let me tell you that was my top favorite if i had to pick just one just one song that will be it. Uh, I felt like I was uh, in a dream, uh, like in a, laying down, not in my futon, but in a cloud. Because, um, you know, so many twists and turns and uh, at the same time, the melody, uh, the, the intention of the song was great. It was uh, the feeling of the song and the vibes of it. It was uh, just incredible. I love it. I love it 100%. That's my the winner uh, of them all. I love the entire album, but that song is the one that for me is the the will be you know like perfect uh, track to represent the, the entire album it's, it was great so the third track it's called um uh rats return 
uh, that's a rocker, a heavy song, a very heavy guitars, and um, you know the vocals are very aggressive, and uh, you know it, it's hard. It, it wake me, it woke me up. It, it was uh, like, uh, yeah, we're here, we're rocking 100%. I love that song. It's a headbanging track. Yeah, the fourth track, uh, it's called Dignity. I know it's uh, that's uh, one of my friend uh, favorite uh, Wayne uh, loved this track. He told me uh, already uh, earlier on when he got the album himself and it's a very organic feeling to it uh very like an acoust acoustic uh vibe to it and uh, beautiful melodies and the vocals uh the the intention of the song is great so i understand 100 percent why it's his favorite so the fifth track is hard calling hard calling um it's a very electronic theme so like a retro uh but also very modern at the same time i loved it it has a it reminded me a little bit of uh, Todd Rundgren's uh, Global album, so uh, I, I loved it immediately because of that. So uh, yeah, it, it's a you know very strong song, but at the same time it, it uses uh, like in the background the, the things. It's a very uh, you know weird song. I, the structure of the song is very different, so I loved it immediately. So the fifth song, the sixth track, it's called Walk the Plank. It's a very eerie. It's one of the dark, the darkest songs on the album. Uh, very um, uh, mysterious song. Uh, very, uh, you know, like uh, you feel like uh, like you're entering uh, another uh, um, uh, unknown, you know, uh, dimension. It, it was a very sinister sounding song. Uh, yeah, I loved it because of that. Because uh, uh, it really dug deep. You know, it was incredible. Yeah. Walk the Plank is an incredible track. It's a dark song, it's very dark. So the other, the next one, it's the seventh track on the album. It's called Chimera's Wreck. That's the longest song on the album. And uh, let me tell you, it was a great experience to, uh, you know, listen to. It was, uh, you know, it's the closing track of the album. So they went out with a bang. Uh, you know, they really, you know, went all out in it, in this song. It's a, uh, even if it's a slow song, but it has like, um, it, it, it drives you in a way that you will get really into it. But then it, it changes dramatically with the drums, the bass, the, the way of the, the way the vocals are made and the different sounds, you know, so it's a, uh, uh, an explosion it's a bomb uh, it's a song that is really explodes in your face it's incredible it was a great great closing track uh, for the album as the seventh track but then we have the uh, looking back uh, it is a very solid this is extremely uh, uh, it's a you know a very um, I was so uh, satisfied I was so pleased with the the, the the entire album as a whole so I really loved it but then I was really looking forward for the other three songs, uh, the extra songs. And uh, the first one is called Population 3. Um, uh, it's an instrumental song. I didn't expect that at all. But it was perfect because it's like an intermission to the, 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 the other, the, the, the extra, the bonus tracks on the album. So you have like, uh, you know, like something extra to hold on to, you know. It, because the, the album felt, even if it's, uh, um, you know, the length of the album is, 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 is uh, um, you know, uh, it, it's okay. You know, it's not a short record. It's a very lengthy album. But you still uh, need more. Like, you feel... You need, so, some people were saying, like, the the album without the three extra songs falling complete. And I, now I get the, their feeling. I, I totally agree. So, uh, it was a great bridge to... Uh, another two bonus tracks because the instrumental is like uh, guiding you by the hand, you know, like uh, here's a little bit more for you for you to complete, you know, to satisfy your expectations of the album. So I loved it. it, it that instrumental track at the uh, Population 3 was a great uh, connecting song. That's what I was trying to express. So the second of the three bonus tracks is my top favorite. If I had to choose one, it's my favorite. It's called um, uh, "Never Have," uh, "Never Have." It's the, the name of the song. I'm I'm still in a in a you know uh, like uh, really impressed with the song. I, you know, I have to revisit it uh, immediately because uh, the the lyrics, uh, the 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 it's a very emotional song. Um, the 
the um I, I felt great listening to it i don't know it's something magical when it happens in a song you just fell in place uh, and that song really took me there and uh, that that's a very special feeling uh, so that song is, is, is uh I was blown away by it. So the last song of the three of the bonus one is Love in the Past Tense. Uh, that was another song that, you know, I said, oh, well, it's the classic sound of Porcupine Tree. Yeah, uh, I, I, I've been there. I, I, I'm familiar. I'm, 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 you know, like I, I've, I've been in that place before. But it, it, it sounds still sounds fresh. It, it, it gives you something extra. Remember that this, uh, the band has uh, been through an evolution. So uh, there's something always, uh, you know, that it's beyond your expectations. So this album as a whole, I'm telling you, it, it, looking back with or without the three songs, uh, you know, it's a very perfectly structured and uh i really you know I, I invite you to listen to it because if you haven't because uh you won't be disappointed at all the next morning thank you for watching this video and i see you soon okay bye bye now ciao